Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for June. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do apologize for the delay. Uh, my life has been so busy that <laughs> I've been behind. And I've been I've had a lot of private readings to do as well, so I do apologize. But here we are. This is for the month of June. Keep in mind that this may not resonate the moment you watch it. So you might need to watch it later in June or come back to it, you know. It may or may not resonate now. You know, keep that in mind. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I say that because there's a lot of people that don't realize that. They watch it on the one day. <laughs> you know, that they watch it and it doesn't resonate. So they, they think, oh, that's not for me. Well, you know, divine timing is real. It really is. So if it doesn't resonate on the day that you watch it, you might want to check back later. All right. So what do we got for Aries? What do we have for Aries for the month of June? Ooh, man holding coin. So, if you are the Aries woman, you may be dealing with this woman. I mean, this man. <laughs> or this masculine, okay? You may be dealing with this person. Or if you are the masculine watching this, this could be you really focused on your money. Focus on your stability. Focus on your security. This could be for the female as well. But I really feel like if you are the female, this is probably who you are, you know, connecting with. You're probably connecting with this masculine. If you are the masculine, this is probably you, obviously. So um, if you're the female, you could be um, coming into contact with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Same with the same with the male. You know, I feel like you could be dealing with a an Earth sign of some sort. Um, but this is really focused on stability, security. Now, this could also be receiving a gift, okay? I have to show you what's on the bottom. Okay, this is a perfect combination. You may be coming into union with your perfect combination. Perfect match here. You know, this is... This is um, Somebody who, you know, can, might, might be able to, might be the missing piece. Yeah, maybe, I think that's probably what this is. You guys may be uniting, I mean, two, two. I mean, you may be you uniting with your, your divine partner. Maybe this person just makes you feel very secure. Maybe it is a gift. You know? So yeah, you have a divine partnership, but perhaps coming into union. Aries, what do we have for Aries for the month of June? It's beautiful. Listen to that bird sing. You are receiving something that's you are absolutely receiving something Aries it could be a gift whatever it is it's gonna make you feel good it's gonna balance out it's gonna allow you to you know feel more at ease I believe Mm, crossing that bridge. You are crossing that bridge. I think it's going to lead you to someplace really, really beautiful. Where the grass really is greener. Somebody's been holding on to something and it's getting old. Perhaps holding on to a dead end. Reluctant to release, reluctant to change, reluctant to transition. But now it's time. It's time for you. It's time for your new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning. This is a new exciting 
beginning, a new vision. You may see something that is very bright. You may you may get this instant uh, notion or this instant um, idea or this instant revelation or whatever. It's like this this new approach, this new vision that leads you down a new path. That's what I think is going to happen. This is a new partner as well, a new a new sexual partner, a new partner. So I think for some of you, you know, this is or this could be a new flame or a new spark or whatever. Right? You got this new fire within you, put it that way, or this new passionate beginning here, whatever it is. Something that is you're going to be receiving a passionate new start, put it that way. After you've been holding on to something, I don't know what you've been holding on to, but you've been this is something that you've been waiting for. It is. Yep. Yep. Your ear. Something that you have been waiting for is coming. It's time. It's time for your reward in, of some sort. It it is. Now, I don't know if you're going to reconnect with somebody from your past or this is a soulmate connection from your past, like a past life connection. The Six of Cups. Whoever this person is that's coming into your life, you're going to feel very familiar with them. There's a familiarity. And they are going to reawaken your memories. They're going to, they're going to fill you up with memories of love, of what love really is. Okay. This is beautiful. I know that it is. I know that it is. You may have, you know, holding on to whatever it is that you've been holding on to has caused exhaustion, extreme exhaustion. You may have had some health issues. You may be frustrated. Whatever, whatever it is that you have been reluctant to release has caused you health issues. It's caused you exhaustion, you know. And maybe, maybe it's really time for you to slow down and go in a new direction. Maybe you have slowed down. Maybe you've come to the point where, you know, you just can't hold on anymore. You know what I mean? Some of I think that some of you may be severing ties. You may be severing ties with uh, some sort of partnership or some sort of relationship that has exhausted you. <clears throat> you have. You are. You're, you are severing ties with some sort of partnership that has caused exhaustion. It's caused you discontent. It's caused you to be overwhelmed. And I think that you're taking a new new path. I think you got a new approach. You got this new vision. You got this new exciting opportunity. And in order to, to you know go down that road where the grass is greener, you got to sever ties with the partnership. Maybe it's the past. I don't know. Maybe maybe you sever ties with one, and and you reconnect with somebody else that you have had a past life connection with, or you've been with in the past. You know, I really feel like there's a new commitment coming. And I think it's a new commitment with somebody that you probably have known before. Okay? Now this, you know, for a lot of you, I think this is somebody that you have known in a past life. And I don't know where that is coming from. I think this is a past life connection I, I for some of you. You know, I feel like whoever this person is that is coming into your life, that, you know... They have been divinely guided to come at this time for a reason. Divinely guided to come at this time. There's, there is divine guidance here. It's time for you to receive. I think that you have been in a very um, tense situation where there's been a lot of tension. There's been a lot of uh, conflict. There's been a lot of um, power struggles. A lose-lose situation. And I think now those ties are being severed because... I don't know why, right? I don't know why, but I think those ties are being severed with that partnership because you got this new exciting opportunity that has been presented to you. You do. You got a new exciting opportunity here. 
Um, a lot of you are going going in a new, definitely going in a new direction. Seriously. It's like your faith, this is a card of faith, has paid off, you know? It's like your prayers have been answered. Seriously. Maybe you've been manifesting, you've been waiting for your prayers to be answered, and now they're going to be answered. That's what I see. I mean, that is what I see. I got to show you what's on the bottom. I just happened to look. This is heartache, heart pain. This is this is a stab right in the heart. I think that you have been. I think that you have really been suffering. You've been dealing with some heartache. But we're going to keep shuffling. I feel like it's over. I do feel like it's over. I think that the pain that you have been been in is about to be released. Somebody's been holding on to the pain. Suffering. Definitely suffering. Um, but something is coming coming to fruition. It's like it's time. It is time. There's 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 no more growth left here. It's time to pick. It's it's time for you to receive. You know, this is a card of healing. Okay? This is a card of um, regaining strength. Taking back your power, finding that force within you to move in that new direction, whatever it is, ready to open up. Oh my God, you guys are very attractive at this time. Somebody is very, very, very attracted to you. I see a soulmate connection here. <laughs> and I think this is something that is definitely unexpected. I don't think that you expected this for a second. I don't. This is a choice. It's a decision between the false contract, the past contract, and the new one. Now you have this choice to make. An unexpected choice in love. A decision needs to be made. This is love heals. This is healing. You guys are healing. This is an opportunity to heal from... A hurtful experience, a painful ex partnership, a painful conflict, or a painful severing of ties. I think that you guys have been suffering deeply. But now you got this new connection. You got this new soulmate connection. There is this, and I've, I've been trying to shy away from saying soulmate connection. Soulmate connection, soulmate connection. Oh my God, and this card didn't get picked up. Soulmate connection. This I just picked up the deck and this card didn't get picked up. You got you got a soulmate connection here, Aries. And it's like it's like your heart probably has been ripped out. Your heart has been ripped out. But I feel as though, you know, we got somebody here that is gonna come in and they're gonna help you to heal that broken heart. They're gonna help you to heal that heart. And you don't see it coming. I do not think you see it coming. This is a true soulmate. This person is, you don't even know it. This person is not your usual type. You may think you know who this person is. You don't know who this person is. I don't think you do. And that's why I said it before. I think this is a past life connection. I don't think you know who this person is. And I think this person is going to see your big heart. And I think this person is going to love you instantly. It's, it's going to be an instant attraction. It's going to, I think it's like a spontaneous thing. It's like serendipity. <laughs> and I'll say this very often. I think that you meet this person, you know, spontaneously. You don't, you don't even expect it. Okay. Um, you may meet them at a church. You may meet them at some sort of religious gathering. And I don't know where that's coming from. It doesn't have to be a church. Could be a, you know... I mean, the, the hair font can signify a government agencies as well, you know, corporations, whatever. Um, now, there's there's also water here, so you may meet them on. I don't know why why I said that or I saw that. I don't I don't think I've ever said this. Maybe you meet them at, you know, a body of water, you know, where there's where there's water. Maybe it's the ocean. I don't know. Um, see, there's dolphins here. So I don't know. I feel as though um, you're going to meet somebody spontaneously that you are very, very, very attracted to. I think there's a mutual attraction here. 
I think there's there, it's going to be hard to deny. I feel like um, you're going to feel the instant connection. Um, <laughs> I feel as though you may not even expect a relationship. You may not expect happiness. You may not you may not be focusing on you may not even be looking for a relationship or you may not be focused on it at all. You know, it's like nah, you know, you're th you're not even thinking about it. You're not thinking that this could happen and it happens out of the blue. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're going to have a deep bond. Nine of Cups reverse. This is a deep bond. Things are going to look up. I think a wish is being fulfilled. I think deep fulfillment is coming. That's what this means. Singles will be meeting a real, a real love soon. A deep soul connection here. And you don't expect it. You don't expect it. You are, you really, 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 really do not expect it. This is your missing piece. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been wishing for. If you are in a relationship now, you know, I got to I got to be honest with you, somebody could be severing ties with a relationship that is not compatible because they got somebody else. Maybe you run into somebody and it's just like, "Oh shit, this is this is the one." You know, so I just got to be honest with you. Um maybe that has happened and now you got to make a choice. I think a choice, a decision is going to be made here and I think it's because the connection is so deep, the connection is so real, the connection is so undeniable that you can't deny it. And I think that you just I think that yeah, that is an undeniable connection. There's no doubt about it. None. It that the chemistry, the magnetism is beyond words. It's beyond words. Words. There's a, there's a, there's the, 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 the sexual attraction, you know, is beyond words. It's beyond, you know, the chemistry is beyond control, put it that way. Um, you may not be able to control yourself. Um, there's definitely, um, I think there's a new connection here. It's somebody that you did not expect. This person does not look like your usual type. They're nothing like the last one. But you can't deny it. You cannot deny it. So be prepared. Get prepared. I think that you guys are about to head in a new direction. And you didn't even see it coming. Whoever this person is, they have something for you. <laughs> okay? They do have something for you. And I think it could lead to something long term. It could look to lead to something stable. It could lead to marriage with this Hierophant card. I think your prayers have been answered. And that's what I got, Aries. It, that is what. You, now, this, I just cut the deck. I've been doing that a lot lately. Three of Wands. I think that you have been getting, you've been waiting for this. You have been waiting for this. And I think the ship has arrived. The ship has arrived. And I think that you're about to get on board. And once you get on board that ship, <laughs> look at those, look at those. Those are, those, are, those are like the phoenix rising from the ashes when I see those birds. I don't know why. This is like your new life begins. Something that you have been waiting, a prayer has been answered. And I don't, I don't like to give people false hope, but I feel like a prayer has been answered. I don't, I just, I don't know. I just heard this is the ship of dreams. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So Aries, um, I think a dream is about to come true. I, I, I you know, <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is, if you think about serendipity, this is something you, 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 you. You're at the right place at the right time, put it that way. And you're going to feel that attraction so, so hard and so, so big that it's, you know, whatever this partnership is that you have been holding on to, I think you're not, you're just going to drop it. I think you're going to let it go. I think you're just going to be like, I held on long enough. I'm gone. I'm gone. This, 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 this new attraction is so, 
exciting and so hot and so magnetic that you kiss it's almost like you forget about the past you forget about that past connection it's like damn damn I'm giving my heart to this one right now so I think that you know you guys are heading in a new direction definitely we're gonna get you one of these one card for Aries we got somebody that is going to love you <laughs> and I think you're gonna love them too I think it's mutual I do it's equal give and take. I think there's going to be a instant connection that both of you are going to feel. Ooh, yikes. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. <laughs> Make sure that you look beyond the surface. This person does not look like your usual type. That's what this card is telling me. This person does not look like your usual type. That's what this is. The surface has nothing to do with it. It's not, it's what's on, it's, it's what's in the heart. So yeah, I mean, that's what I got. That is what I have. I think this is the, the missing piece. If you were in a coupled relationship, maybe, maybe you're letting, you're, you are, you know, severing ties with somebody that is unhealthy and... This is severing ties with an unhealthy partnership because you have a deep bond with somebody else. A deeper bond with somebody else. Now, this doesn't have, I mean, somebody could be, the, the partnerships, that could be a family member as well. It doesn't, if somebody could be severing ties with a family member to go with their true love. You know, because sometimes family members get in the way of true love. I don't know why that message came out. But I think that somebody is severing ties with somebody to go with their love. I'm, I'm going with love. I'm... I don't need this anymore. I want love. So I feel like we got somebody that is definitely severing ties with a partnership. They're severing ties with somebody. Could be a lover. Could be a family member. Because they got big, 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 big love here with somebody else. That's what I got. Good luck. There is severing ties. With a partnership that is not compatible. Because there is love. Big love. 